very good morning my dear aspirants so in our previous session we discussed about the flow chart of vishnu kundin dynasty now in this session we will discuss in detail about the introduction of vishnu kundis and later we will discuss about each king's role in vishnu kundin dynasty so let's start our session so in previous class we discussed through animations vishnukundin dynasty flow chart so who is the founder here indra varma one who is the founder here who is the founder here Vishnu Kundin dynasty is the founder, Indra Varma one. Who is the last king? Who is the last king? Who is the last king? Last king was Machana Bhattaraka, the most powerful king in his period, in Vishnu Kundin period, Madhav Varma too, because he defeated. Ananda Gotraja dynasty, Samyaksham Buddha, Pada Padma Radhaka, Salankaya dynasty king, Vijayaskanda Varma, and Yellamanchali king, Devarashtam king, Vasistas, as well as Vakataka dynasty king, Vakataka king, Prithvi Sena, the most powerful king in Vishnukodi dynasty. Madhavarma 2. In next, we will discuss about the introduction part. You should remember introduction. So, in this introduction, who was the founder? You are very, very eleven. Indra Varma. And please do remember what is the other name of Indra Varma. Please do remember the other name of Indra Varma was Maharajendra Varma. Maharajendra Varma is the another name of another name of Indra Varma. So who is the founder? It is clear to you. Who is the last king? It is also clear. Who is the most powerful king? It is also clear. And other than this, in the introduction part, we should have a clear idea about their symbol. Royal. Royal. Insignia. Their royal symbol was lion please do remember guys it is very very important the royal insignia of vishnu kundan dynasty is lion and how many capital cities what are their capital cities what are their capital cities of vishnu kundins the first one was please do remember guys Amarapuram, Amarapuram, Amar, Puram, and now we call it as Velupuru. Today we call it as Velupuru. Next one, Tummele Gudem. Malagudem to Malagudem or Indra Pala Nagaram Indra Pala Nagaram. This is a capital city to Malagudem or Indra Pala Nagaram. How we came to know. 
that Tomalagudem or Indrapala Nagaram was the capital city of Vishnukundi dynasty. Please to remember, according to according to P. V. Parabrahma Sastri. According to P. V. P. V. Parabrahma. Parabrahma. Sastri. We came to know that Tumalagudem or Indrapala Nagaram was the capital city of Vishnukundis. In the same way, Amrapuram, Amrapuram also, according to, according to the historian B.S.L. Hanumantarao. Guys, please write these notes when I explain you or keep a pause button after this explanation, after you listen this session, keep a pause button and write these notes in order. So please do remember, so the first capital was Amrapuram, the first capital was Amrapuram, the second one was Tamil Godem or Indrapala Nagram and the third one, Dinduluru, today we, could, we, today we call it as Elur, please do remember Dinduluru, Dinduluru, please do remember what? What is the third capital? Dendoluru. What is today's name? It is what we call today as a Eluru. And coming to the official language, please remember, guys, what is the official language? Or what is the official language? Once again, Sanskrit. Once again, the official language was Sanskrit. And now, it belongs to which caste? The caste is very important in this uh, history. Please do remember, what is his caste? They were also Brahmins. <clears throat> and they followed which God? They followed which religion? Hinduism religion. But in Hinduism, they followed Vaishnavism. Vaishnavism. Please do remember, guys. They followed Vaishnavism. And in the same way, who is their family deity? Manavantuntam kada? Kola daivam. Mana kola daivam evaruvani. So, ide vidam ga, the kola daivam, the family deity. Of Vishnu Kundan dynasty. Very, very important, guys. Please do remember it. Sri Paravata Swami. Sri Paravata Swami. Please do remember, guys. Sri Paravata Swami. We also call him as Sri Sailam Mallikarjun. So, he will be a Vishnu Kundi of Kuladevan Yavarnana Sri Paravata Swami. And in next, we should discuss about the sources. Next, we should discuss about the sources part. Please do remember there are two books. There are two books which tells about Vishnu Kundis. And the first one was Janashraya Janashraya Chando Vichiti Chando Vichiti Please do remember guys Janashraya Chando Vichiti in the same way, the next book was Setu Bandhu. Setu Bandha. So these two are the books which tells about 
it tells about it tells about tells about fish to kundin kings in previous class we discussed uh, what are those what are those kings what happened in that uh, conflict and the next uh, source the next uh, source are inscriptions next source are inscriptions and these inscriptions were asked multiple times in our exam these inscriptions were asked multiple times please remember the first inscription tummala gudem tummala gudem copper plate inscription this was founded at this was founded at valigonda valigonda mandal valigonda mandal at the rate nalagonda district please remember guys he found that this tumal gudem copper plate inscription at which place valigonda mandal where it is it is in nalagonda district in the same way chaitanya puri rock addict chaitanya puri rock addict he founded this in today's hyderabad that's third one kisara kisara gutta kisara gutta rock addict kisara gutta rock addict this we founded in ranga reddy district fourth one saleswaram saleswaram rock addict saleswaram rock addict this was founded at amrabad mandal amrabad mandal at the rate mahbub nagar district and the fifth one veluru veluru rock addict velur rock addict this we founded at satyanapalli satyanapalli at a guntur district velur rock addict alage ipuru 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 copper plate e puru copper plate inscription he founded in today's tenali today's tenali which is in guntur district in the next one rama tirdam please remember guys rama tirdam copper plate inscription in visakhapatnam visakhapatnam 
district. Vishakapatnam district. And next, next, Tundi Copper Plate Inscription was founded in Tuni today's Tuni the same way Palamaru Palama uh, Palamuru Palamuru Copper Plate Inscription founded in Ram Chandra Puram, which is in the East Godavari district. And last one, this is somewhat different, Kanpur, Kanpur, Copper Plate Inscription in Satara, Satara State, which is in Maharashtra. I think it is uh, clear to everyone. So these uh, inscriptions, so the sources are very, very important. As to our books. And the next step, where inscriptions. Janashraya Chandra Vichati, Setu Banda, where books. Tumbale Godam Copper Plate Inscription, Chaitanya Puri, Kesara Gutta, Rocket Dick, Salisvar Rocket Dick, Veluru, Rocket Dick, Ipuru, Copper Plate, Ramatirtham, Copper Plate, Tundi, Copper Plate, Polamuru, Copper Plate, Kanpur, Copper Plate. So this all were founded in Telangana. Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra. So in exam, they may ask you in match the following way or in statement 1, in statement 2 format. So this is the introduction part. Please do remember Lion, Amrapuram, Tamalagudam or Indrapalanagram, Dindaluru, Sanskrit, Brahmins, Vaishnavism, Sri Parvata Swami. And now we will discuss about the kings. Who was the first king? Please do remember. Now we will discuss about about each kings. About kings. So, who was the first king, guys? Please do remember, who was that person? Indra Varmavan. You can see here, uh, this is uh, the first person, Indra Varmavan, who was the founder of Vishnu Kundin dynasty, right? So, we will discuss about this person. So, let's start about kings. Who was the first person? Indra Varmavan. 